Hello and welcome to Craftiosity, the subscription box of modern craft kits. I'm Moira Fuller and this month we're working with Cork Fabric to make a cover for your passport or free mobile phone. And here it is, so this is the passport cover. Let's have a look inside the box. So if we open up the box, inside you'll find your instructions, the Cork Fabric, some felt, some bond web. In this little guy is some thread and a needle, and here are your tools, and in here are some fabric clips. So if we have a look at these out, there's your cork fabric, your bondo web, and your felt. Here's the needle and thread, and the thread is a really lovely thick French linen thread. These little fabric clips are great for when you don't want to pin fabric, they, uh, they just join all the pieces together while you're working on them. And this is an overstitch wheel which we'll use to do the even stitches. If you've bought one of our kits, you'll also find a thimble and an awl. So you've got a couple of options of which you want to do. Inside your kit, there's a template for a passport cover, or you can do a cover for your mobile phone. So I'm going to show you how to work out a template for your mobile phone cover first. You'll find these notes in your instructions, but just in case you're not working from them. If you take your phone, first of all, you're going to measure the width of your phone. And then just jot that down. Then you're looking at the thickness of your phone and you're going to double it. So here it's six millimeters, so I'm writing down 12. Now I'm looking at the length of the phone. And the thickness we already know is six. So for both the width and the length of the phone, you want a little extra just to give it space to get in. So I've allowed 8mm on the width and 10 on the length of the phone. Now these give you then a total measurements to draw out. So mine is 90 by 160mm. So I'm just going to draw that out on a new sheet of paper. And then to give it nice rounded edges, I want it to mimic the corners of the phone itself. So I'm just using the phone as a template to do the edges. There you go. Now for this, you're going to want two of everything for the front and for the back. So you're going to cut this out twice of every type of fabric. And when you stitch it, you're stitching along the side, along the bottom and back up the top. Now we'll just have a little look at your fabric. So we've got the cork fabric, which I've just placed face down. This bond web we'll use to attach the cork fabric to your felt. I'll just show you how we're going to do that and then they'll all become one piece that you work with. So before we attach them, let's chop out your templates. So I'm doing this for the passport uh, cover, but it's going to be exactly the same process if you're doing a phone cover. Because we're going to be ironing these together and then chopping them out finely, for now you're just roughly chopping out the templates. So if you cut out the larger and the smaller pieces, do the same with the felt. And with the felt, you'll need to do the two sides of the passport cover in two sections. So we'll cut out your main piece, and just cutting down onto the table, and then cut out each section because we will be splitting these soon. Do the same with your bond web. So you'll now have three pieces for your larger piece of the passport cover. And for the smaller piece, you've got the backing in the cork fabric and then two sections in the felt and bond web. The other thing we're going to do here is just cut out a little tester section of the leftover pieces. And this is so we can test the temperature of your iron. Now, if you have a closer look at the bond web, you'll see one side is shiny, the paper side, and the adhesive side is a bit rougher. So it's the adhesive side that we're first of all going to iron down onto the back of your cork fabric so that it sticks down. The first thing to do is to turn your iron setting down to no steam at all and then to turn your temperature to 2. Starting with your tester, just so you can make sure the temperature of your iron is okay, pop it down so that the cork is face down, then put the adhesive side of the bond web down and you're just going to iron these together. So you can see those have attached. 
and also just what you're looking for is to make sure that the temperature of the iron doesn't in any way warp the cork fabric. If it's too hot, it can do that. Now just take off the backing of the adhesive and now you're going to pop your felt down. There you go, so that has attached now and you'll see it becomes one piece that you can then work with when you're stitching. So we'll do it to the actual pieces now you've done your test. So first of all the larger piece and I'm just taking off the backing and then adding on the felt. Now for the smaller piece again face down, as you've got two pieces here put the straight edge in at the centre for both of them. So if we start with one side just ironing that down and do the same with the other. Again I'm just removing the backing from them and I'm now going to do the same with the felt. So again the straight edges of the felt to the inside. Because you've got adhesive on the other side of the cork fabric there just make sure you don't take the iron over onto that side. Now you've got the second piece in, you can iron over the whole thing. Now what we've got is the ironed piece of cork fabric, this is a larger one, with your template across it using the fabric clips to hold it in place. And once you've got that nice and even, just cut all the way around and you can adjust the fabric clips as you go. Go right to the end. Now when I take these off, you'll see we've got our piece. Now there's a few corners where they're just not quite as smooth as I'd like, so I'm now going to just give those a slight trim. There we go, and I'm happy with that. So now we'll do the two sides of the passport cover. So now trim down the edge of the template, and then attach the template to your smaller piece. Now when you're attaching it, just make sure, for example here, there's a little bit of felt has come over the side. Just make sure the template is catching everything, so the cork fabric as well as the felt. And then you're trimming along the side so you get a nice neat edge all the way around. And do the same for the other side. Again, trim on the inside again so that you get a nice neat edge. And all the way around. And as before, just round the corners if they're not quite how you want them. Okay, so I'll just show you how these will connect together. So you'll have your two edges sewn in there. And we're going to do stitching all the way around the outside and that will become your passport cover. Before we do that we're going to do a decorative line of stitches down the inside of both of these pieces. So grab your tester from before and put it onto a protective surface. Then with the overstitch wheel grab a ruler and do a line of little dots along the fabric. And you see them all there. Now with your awl, and if you have one of our kits it will be a slightly different awl but they do the same thing. You're going to puncture every second hole. Now you can go on every single hole, but I went for every second one because it looked a bit better with linen thread. So now we're doing your actual piece, make sure you're running the overstitch wheel along the top section, the straight section first. And get out your linen thread. To get the thread started, I'm just going to sew it through the felt side and then back on itself just to hold it in place there. And we're going to do a run of back stitch down the front of the cork. So if you haven't done this before, you begin by sewing in through the second hole down. Give that a wee wiggle through. And then you're going back into the top, the first hole. Then you're sewing through the next hole down. make sure the thread doesn't tangle and then back in through the previous hole so that the two stitches join up nice and neatly together and you just keep doing this all the way down. If your thread does tangle just ease it back out again and 
and we're continuing on down the line. So you can see how that's beginning and we'll just keep going all the way down to the bottom. When you're sewing through, just make sure you don't catch the threads at the back and try to sew through them because that will make it tough to sew. Okay, here now I'm just sewing off the end of the thread. So on the back, I'm running the thread through one of the last stitches to create a loop and then popping the needle back through the loop and just tightening it off to create a knot. And just trim that with your scissors and you've got your edge done. So do that for both sides. Once you've done those, we're gonna look at stitching the first one onto the cover. So with your overstitch wheel, create a line just at the corner there. Get your side correctly into place and use the fabric clips to hold it. Secure your thread by stitching it through the felt again. And then when it comes to doing the actual sewing, the easiest way to do it is to do it one section at a time. So go through the back and then through the front. It's because you've got this lovely thick linen thread, it just takes a little more effort to sew through. Use a thimble as well, just to push the needle through. So now I'll show you how to do the corner. Use your overstitch wheel to mark along the next line you're gonna do. And then with the needle or with your awl, just add in dots going round the corner in the same spacing as you've been using before. Once you've stitched along that long edge, just double check your passport is going to fit in. And check it on the inside too. Okay, now if you're starting another thread and don't want to tie it into the felt, then just tie a knot in the thread, work it down so it becomes a firm little knot and then trim the tail. As before, just work that through the cork fabric and keep going all the way around. So there you go, that's you stitched all the way around. Again here I'm just going to tie off this end with a knot. Just tidy that under. And your passport holder is complete. I'm just working the edge here just to give a nice rounded edge for when your passport's inside. And then pop your passport in. And well done, you've got your passport holder. Thank you for watching, we hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, head on over to our website www.craftiosity.co.uk to sign up to our newsletter and know when the next video is released.